Hey guys, still here and welcome to episode 3 of my pirate campaign, or rather anti-piracy campaign in Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. We have now made it deeper into the Mediterranean. We have a couple of side quests coming up, Brother vs. Brother and Haunted Island, and the Mara Magnum mission. Let's see what the side missions are so I can see what sort of assets I need to allocate. A former American diplomat to Tripoli figured out that the current ruler of that state had seized the throne and exiled his older brother, who was the rightful heir. The exiled brother is planning to raise an army of Bedouin rebels to claim back his rights and ask for our support. You need to carry a shipment of weapons and ammunition from Messina to the base of the exiled brother. Okay, I need to send um, a certain amount of ships here in order to do that. Let's send the Quinn and the Nautilus, 72% success rate. And the other mission, Haunted Island. This island is often used by the Barbary Corsairs as a base to launch their raids on the Spanish and the French coasts. It's also used as a temporary storing place for their loot and captives. Many Christian souls have been lost on this island before their final transfer to the Berber coast. Send a task force to attack the island and destroy the pirate base. Um, considering that I have the United States and the Chesapeake, I can pretty safely send some of my smaller ships on a mission like this. So I'm only going to have the United States, the Chesapeake and the Essex for the next mission. Start. The main mission, Mara Magnum. You were ordered to enter in the Mediterranean Sea and sail to Sicily for resupplying and repairs. An agreement between the US and Ferdinand IV of the Kingdom of Naples allowed you to use Sicilian ports as naval bases. After resupplying, you started patrolling along the sea routes. It did not take long to receive a distress call from a convoy of US merchant ships which was under Corsair attack. Alright, um, we're going to send in all the ships. Ideally in the formation that they are in right now, so we're going to have the United States leading Chesapeake following, and following after that, is the Essex. Start. What? Oh, shit. Not starting. I need to have another ship. I need to have at least four. Okay, so that means that I have to quickly come up with another ship. Unfortunately, the others are already engaged on side missions. And I know I can pull them out, but I really don't want to. Um, let's go to the Admiralty and buy another ship, because I still have a bit of cash here. Um, that would mean that I'm going to buy the Anthony, 5th rate Unity class frigate. Buy. So that is the Anthony. She's going to need a crew. That's fortunately not going to run up too much of a tag. We need to assign some officers. That is going to run up a bit of a tag. Um... Willpower. Right. Assign the officer. Go for a lieutenant and a sub-lieutenant. Upgrade. Now, this ship still needs guns. I might not be able to afford a, <laughs> a seriously large gun, but we'll see what we can get. Biggest I can get is the six uh, the, the six pounder guns. These have a damage of five and a reload of almost two minutes. Reload of five or damage of five, reload of 107. But the range on these is better. Now these things have seemingly good planking, which is, from what I understand, structural integrity or armor. Not as good as the 4100 of the Chesapeake, uh, but still hopefully decent. It's on par with the one that the Essex is carrying. But her sails are very weak. Her speed is excellent though, 12.5. So if I want to make use of that speed, I could, I could rush in. Do a sort of drive-by, sail-by and get a couple of shots in like that. Uh, this is going to seriously cut into my budget though. Jeez, I can have more six-pounder guns there. It's going to almost cost me all of my budget. But then again, this mission should recoup most of that. 
So this thing is going to be carrying just flat out six pounders. Okay, let's try this again. All right, United States, Chesapeake, Anthony, and Essex. Start. Admiral, we've arrived just in time. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hello, boys. Uh, the South Carolina, Connecticut, and Maryland are under attack. The pirates are after the trade ships. Two armed merchantmen are maneuvering to stall the attackers and screen the weaker ships. I suppose that's these guys. So we need to race towards there and intercept them. We must swiftly sail to help the convoy and engage with the pirates. This is where the Anthony could thrive. Because she is far faster than the rest of the ships. I want the Chesapeake after the United States. And I want the Essex... Well, I think the Essex is also going to be faster, isn't she? Provided I have a good wind. Here comes the Anthony rushing through. Alright, so what's the situation here? We've got four more pirate ships coming in. And we have the Maryland and the Connecticut trying their level best to stall. So that the rest of the merchants, Augusta, Delaware, Merrimack and South Carolina can leave. My ships are doing 10 knots and increasing speed. Essex is doing 9-4. Anthony's already doing 11. This is why I like to have a faster ship in my fleet. Because I might very well need one just to intercept. Is that gunfire that's being... Yep. The guys over here are engaging. The Maryland and the Connecticut have opened fire on the Bodrum. Let's see what these new fourth-rate ships can do. Uh, Essex, fall in behind the Anthony. Speed, 11-ish. 9... Come on. 10-5, 10-6. Almost in range. I hope that these guys can hold out for a while. At least crew-wise, they should be able to. Is this going to be a ram? Ooh. <laughs> Very close there. Very close call. All right, Anthony, you're new and untested. But the same can be said for the rest of my fleet, with the exception of the Essex. The Essex, by the way, I have upgraded their uh, firepower on the crew. They now have better muskets, and thereby I'm hoping that they're going to be more capable of taking on the enemy. Boarding operations. Yeah, this is turning into a big mess. Bodrum, however, is falling back. Her morale's broken. Let's see what the United States can do. Look at her go. Beautiful. Gotta give Game Labs credit. They can build some beautiful games. Alright, Anthony, now we're gonna slow down. Both you and the Essex. And we're gonna see if we can do some damage against these. The Ayat i Hayr. We're gonna cut in front of the Bodrum and finish her off. Anthony opening up with all her six pounders. And immediately inflicting a hefty blow against this ship. Seemingly not as badly as the Bodrum is getting damaged. But then again, these guys have some far bigger firepower. 24 pounders. Their reload, however, is about 3 minutes. These ships have a reload of 2 minutes. 
and the Essex slightly faster with her six pounders, and she also carries 12 pounders. And now I'm out of range because my ship is being pushed the other way. Working with the wind is still something I have to learn in this game. Look at this thing. Would it be worthy to capture these? I might be able to. Essex, that's your job. You're particularly well equipped for capturing ships. Anthony, full sails. United States, we're going to focus on the Bodrum. I'm going to capture the Iet Ihair. Because I could really use some extra funding to make sure that my ships are still going to be getting repaired. But since the United States cannot attack the Bodrum, she's blowing up the uh, Iet. Or Ayat. Great. There's a couple of ricochets, some pens. Yeah, that's armor hit, armor reflected, mast reflected, and sailing hit. Armed merchantmen are seemingly holding their own very well. The Chesapeake is also. Very much butchering the Ayat. Well done there. Now these two ships have taken some damage. Oh, rigging shock. Might have to do with you missing a mast. Their stern mast broke off. Grape shot only, buddies. Grape shot only. I want to try and capture them. Anthony giving another full broadside blast the uh, Hyatt Petten does. Crap, this thing is coming out at a terrible angle. Oh, hold on. She's turning. She's turning. Put the game on slow or standard speed. Bird aboard. Slow down, let her catch up. And just use those guns to blow the crew away. One simply does not mess with the United States Navy. Did they have some sort of crew shock? What was that? I think they're trying to leave. Let's add to the misery on the Fatih e body. Oh, the Ayat Ihair seems to be in shock. Damn it, they're running away. Get after them. I also have to be careful that the United States doesn't accidentally either blow up the capturing or the ship that I want to capture or the capturer. So I'm going to try and hit the uh, high bait and does. Hopefully not hitting the Essex in the process. And the Anthony is also adding to the misery of the high and bitten does with more grape shot. Careful now, I think you're hitting the Essex. Don't do that. That's a fine target, the other one is not. Seems like she's about to surrender, this one. 
Positioning is good. Speed is good. Just need to get slightly closer. 76 crew members left. No, you're not running away. No, you're not. Get back here. Ah. They're surrendering. That's great, but you're still coming with me. Because at some point, these guys... I don't know, they rejoin the fight. They unsurrender, if that's a thing. And by doing that, they suddenly spring back to life. And they are generally eager to start killing my ships again. Here we go. Essex, this one's yours. Surrendering or no, we're gonna take him. Um, yeah, let's just transfer one of the officers over. I've got them free. Alright, buddy. On to the next one. The Hayat i Hayr. Crew condition is still good. Maryland is a bit concerned about the lacking of her mast. And we have more pirate ships coming in. Okay. Uh, United States and Chesapeake. That's going to be your objective. I will finish off any survivors here. Ideally capturing them. That's the goal. Anthony. Work this guy over. Might be able to capture them as well. More boarding ops. Essex is turning into a really good capture ship here. Ah, she's ducking behind her ally. You know what? Cancel the board. Because this ship has taken a lot of damage, and I'm not sure if it's worth it to try and hold on to her. But this one is a different story. We have 229 crew members on the Essex, taking on the 95 on the Bodrum. Or whatever's left of them. 91. Check your fire. None of that starboard nonsense for the moment, buddies. Uh, buddies? Guys, I don't want that. Here we go. Attempting to board. Oh shit, the boat room's on fire. Uh, if that's contagious, then we are definitely not boarding. You can burn down all by yourself. I don't need the Essex taking any part in that. Anthony, how are you doing? Oh, you're gonna try and run, are you? I might have something to say about that. Bodrum surrendered. Cool. Switch to standard shop and prepare to eliminate. Both rooms surrendered. Yeah, good. So far, so good. Now we can open up with the Starbirds. Enterprise. No, uh, United States opening up against the Peleng Ibari. Doing limited damage so far. Four of these. No, uh, five of these against one of mine. And it looks like they did capture... Was that a fifth rate? At some point? And they're now sending it against me. Let's quickly dissuade them from that action. Anthony. Can you catch up with the High Bethan does before she causes all sorts of mayhem? That's the captured Fatih Ibari. Connecticut's in a terrible angle. Cannot do anything. Chesapeake. Feel free to fire. 
Good spread. That was a lot of damage. This is exactly what I wanted the United States and the Chesapeake to do. Just be rigged for elimination. Just pure damage dealers. And they seem to be living up to that point. Come on. Nice Chesapeake. Close to the enemy. How's Essex? Essex is also joining the fight. I think their lead ship is already starting to fail. I still need to learn what those icons mean. I think it's some sort of gun shock that these guys have. Where do you go? What's your objective? Because I thought you were going to chase after the convoy, but it seems like you're not. Okay, that one has been killed off. Oh, the Bodrum came back to life. See, that's what I was worried about. That's exactly what I was worried about. That they would just immediately come back to life and start harassing the ships once more. These guys seem to be in reverse. Lead ship has killed, or has been sunk. The Sahin Ideria has been sunk. Holy shit, these guys don't stand a chance here. Essex. I'm going to tilt the ship over a bit and open fire once more. Loads of the survivors seem to be trying to get either to the Neheng or the Al Kapudan. Ali Kapudan. Unsuccessfully, I might add. Fatih is leaving. Excellent. And these guys also have a sinking feeling. <laughs> I'd say the Anthony has proven herself in battle. As have the United States and the Chesapeake. Because they have seemingly taken almost no damage. And the Memis Irais is just getting eliminated. That was about all her structural integrity. It looks like the Alicapudan has slowed down, taking on the survivors. And these guys, well, the other survivors from one of the sunken ships, are trying to get to any, <laughs> any ship. But this is not the right one. Oh, these poor sods. Not really, though. Piracy is not a rewarding job. Not if I have anything to say about it, anyway. There we go. The Anthony also eliminated her target. So that just leaves that larger ship out there. The Ali Capudan. And that, I think, would make for an excellent prize. Just trying to shoot at some of the survivors. What do you mean, Geneva Convention? I didn't sign anything. I don't even think that that was a thing, by the way. Uh, Essex. You're my capture ship. Eliminate sails. So we slow them down. We break their morale, we fire some grape shot, and we capture them. Pretty straightforward. Anthony? Augusta has retreated. Good. That's some of the cargo ships. The merchantmen. Uh, can we grape sh No, chain shot this thing. Because if I can, this would be an interesting thing to sell off. Basically to fund the Anthony. Crap, we still have the Bodrum over there. I forgot about her. The Maryland seems to be in a better condition than the Bodrum, but I still want to help her out. Delaware has retreated. Good, that's another one of my ships. Bit more sail here. 
Just trying to eliminate as much rigging as I can. Their sails are starting to look a bit worse for wear. At this point, the Chesapeake starts taking some damage. Critical. Eliminated a good portion of the rigging so far. Come about. Essex. Can we catch him? At this rate? Absolutely, because their sailing is almost their their rigging is almost gone. Anthony. Bodrum is sinking. Well done. I'm really, really, really starting to warm up to this game, and I hope you are too, because there's plenty more coming. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more, so that you don't miss that. Bodrum has sunk. No wind has changed to northeast. That's actually not bad. Okay, time to start eliminating the crew now. Three thirty six, three thirty five. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Chesapeake, your accuracy <laughs> needs work. Essex is still trying to work away on the rigging here. 320. Now these ships are not particularly well set up for boarding. They don't have any boarding benefits, if you will. Some damage to the port side of the United States. Otherwise alright. Wow, that was just four guys. Most of it did hit the armor, but I feel it's not particularly effective at the moment. Keep firing standard shot. Because that is going to do a lot more damage for now. And I think that if we keep exchanging fire like this, my ship will win. I want you to continue firing chain shot. Break formation. Fire chain shot slightly over the stern of the United States there. If we can get some more damage to their rigging, the United States has a better chance to capture them. Anthony is coming in. The Essex... It's hard to manage this many ships, and now I can hand them off to the AI. But I much prefer to do this on my own. More rewarding. Besides, I've seen how the AI works in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It doesn't really fill me with confidence. Oh, they're failing. They're pumping out water. Good, 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 good. I'm really hoping to blow away one of their masts, just to see what that looks like. 26 sail hits. It's pretty impressive considering the broadside that we have. More sailing hits, please. Or hits versus their sails, I should say. Alright, when ready. I'm still trying to work out what angle is best for trying to hit the sails, and I think it's sort of front on, because now I'm trying to hit them sideways. It doesn't work. It does not work. Uh, new formation, join this one. Chesapeake's now leading. Anthony? We still have the uh, Neghengi over there. Whatever happened to the Bodrum? She went down, didn't she? Yeah, she went down. 
Good. I don't need to worry about that one anymore. Both firing round shot. Starboard side on the Al Capudan, Ali Capudan seems heavily damaged. The port side, less so. But we can change that pretty quickly with the firepower of the United States. That still sounds a bit weird to say, but hey, it's the name of the ship. Shrapnel of wood splinters all over the insides of that ship. Yeah, her morale's broken. So, do we go for the capture or not? It's tempting to try and capture it, but it's probably going to cost me a lot of crew to do it. But I have full crews on both of these ships. Still, capturing is going to be more valuable than just sinking them outright. Switch to grape shots. They're still sinking. Or maybe they're just shaking on water. I'm not sure if that actually means that they're sinking yet. Essex. You know what, if the Anthony is this close, I'm going to try to board. 172 versus 238. I should be able to make that work. Come right. 161 crew members aboard. And they're quickly going down. 151. 143. There we go. Boarding hooks across. Essex, hold your fire. Hold your fire. Continuously firing grape shot. Now it is 225 versus 2... Oh, sorry, 118. And they're quickly losing a lot of crew. 210 versus 75. This is not a fair fight. United States, we're going to capture that thing. Unfortunately, their wind's better than mine. Anthony is boarding. Anthony actually has boarded successfully. Minimum crew would be sufficient. All right, so that's two ships captured. Third on the way. Bring it. Oh, hold on. The Chesapeake's actually getting closer to a favorable boarding position. 446 versus 273. Make that 260. Slow. Let him catch up. 263 crew members. Uh, I cannot risk this. Check your fire. Slow down. Less sails. Distance is not good. Maybe I can have the Essex also support this effort. Anthony, you can move again. Come on, boys, I am eagerly awaiting your arrival. 440 versus 258. She continues to do damage to the United States. Starboard armor on the United States is not looking too good. I should be careful there. Small amount of damage to the sails on the Essex. Let's retaliate in kind. Angle is good. Distance is the problem. Uh, wind's not good. 
244. 242. Come on. Oh, crap. Chesapeake just lost one of her masts. That's particularly unfortunate. The Chesapeake is starting to waver. But now it is time to board. Can we also do boarding from another side? Can we board them from two sides? Cease fire. No, the angle's probably not good. Oh, don't rush into it. 414 versus 200 and dying quickly on the Alley Capitan. So that would result in three ships captured. 404 versus 108. This is good as done. 77 versus 403. Jesus, I have some elite sailors here. Look at these guys go. Got him. Capitan has been captured. Battle complete. Total outcome. Victory. Enemy fleet strength. Nine ships. Six of which were sunk. Three of them were captured. I have lost 244 crew members. Versus 936. I think... Where did I lose all that? Maybe on some of the merchantmen. Maybe there. So, time to do some maintenance. The United States needs repairs to the tune of 1665, which is perfectly fine, because now I have 76,000. Chesapeake, Anthony... Oh, actually, how's the crew? Let's go for a few more crew members. Upgrade. I'm not going to upgrade their muskets, because I don't feel like I need to. More crew. Anthony needs a bit more crew. This thing performed really, really well. Really well. Time for some well-deserved upgrades. She already has good weapons. I think. Yeah, she has the most expensive stuff anyway. And she proved that she can do some damage with them as well. So, let's upgrade that weaponry. Um, damage and spread. I think that might be the more favorable. This is damage... Can you install both? No, you can have either the tier 1 or the tier 2 upgrade. Okay, that makes sense. So this one is going to... What was that? Remove... Hold on. Still trying to wrap my, my head around all of these. Heart wadding. Damage plus 10. Slightly more reload. And let's have you reduce your spread. Upgrade. Oh shit, that was one. Upgrade. There. The Essex needs some repairs, but not a whole lot. Uh, get some more crew members aboard. The Enterprise, Siren, Quinn, and Nautilus are all in battle. They're all in side quests. And I also have Trenton and Arctic. Unrated merchant ships. I don't recall buying these, so I must have earned them. Um, these are marine ships. So landing ships, troop ships. That means that I can deploy marines on them. Militia. Fusiliers. Backbone of your army. Marines. Naval infantry. Typically an infantry force that specializes in the support of naval and army operations at land, at sea and on land. Helping maintain discipline and order aboard the ship. Boarding of vessels during combat. Or capture of prize ships and providing manpower for raiding ashore. Yes, we're going to go with Marines. Aboard the Trenton. All of them. Jeez, that's expensive. Uh, and now we have to pick from a ton. <laughs> where do you begin? Oh, dude, where do you begin? I currently have the Long Land 1722. I think we should be looking at efficiency. So... With that logic, the more expensive the rifle, the more efficient they'll be. I don't think I need a bayonet. Because I'm not planning on doing any 
uh, attacks. Oh, here's the 1757 that I unlocked in the last episode. Efficiency 0 0.8 to 1.1, reloading 40 seconds, as opposed to 52 seconds. That's a good improvement. Create. That's just one of the troops that these guys can carry. I can also have them carry a supply group, a skirmishers group, loose formations and automatically try to keep distance from the enemy. Benefit from their large cover bonus and stealth. Can be used to hide inside forest and ambush, harass enemy flanks, delay the advance of enemy, raid supplies, and scout behind enemy lines. Not useful for holding a defensive position. Understood. We're going to send uh, a hundred skirmishers there. And we're going to assign an officer with him. Elia Kim Dearborn. Weapon. Uh, not good at melee, these boys. Let's also give them the Spanish 1757. Create. I don't know about the Arctic. I still have a bit of cash left. So I could spend that on getting more guys. Let's just give these guys Fusiliers the maximum amount. Uh, not as good of a rifle. Although it doesn't matter that much, I think. 40 second reload, 45 second reload. Efficiency slightly higher here though. Hmm. There. I'm going to give you a supply group. Assign the officer. No, don't feel like I do that. Uh, supply amount, all of it. So these guys are going to be supplying for the rest of the groups. And then I guess some... Um, some skirmishers. And I don't know, another 1757 there. We have captured a few trophies. I can send this one to the Admiralty for 20. I cannot purchase this because I don't have the reputation. The other two trophies I'm also going to send to the Admiralty. Uh, or uh, can I sell them? Yes. Sell trophy. Oh, that's just to the Admiralty. Hmm. Oh, but I can purchase it for 10 points and then I can sell it after. For 11,000. Huh. Tempting. Or I could add it to my fleet and be more successful at side missions. But I would need to equip the ship as well. No, I'm going to sell it. All right, well, I suppose that this concludes this episode. Job done. And, uh, well, we still have a ship, couple of ships in battle and side missions, but they should be out relatively soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. More to come soon. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll be with you with an episode in a few days. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then.